The full force of Storm Eunice hits Britain. V Lunchtime News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good afternoon. We were warned it was going to be the worst storm in decades. Storm Eunice made landfall this morning in the southwest and South Wales, knocking out the power in tens of thousands of homes. Winds of up to 122 miles per hour have been recorded off the coast of the Isle of Wight, provisionally the strongest gusts ever recorded in England. Millions have been told to stay at home. Travel is widely disrupted across the country with flights and trains cancelled and bridges closed. Further north, wind is not the problem but snow. Two red weather warnings remain in place. This lunchtime will bring you... Well, let's take a look at the warnings in place across the country. There are well, the storm hit the southwest early this morning, leaving tens of thousands of people without power. There's also been major disruption at airports and to train and bus services. Rupert Evelyn is in. well in Wales. For the first time, the decision was taken to cancel all trains all day to prepare for storm Eunice. Dean Thomas Welsh is in Porth Call in Southline there. And as we've been reporting, this is the first time a red weather warning has been issued in London and the southeast. Well, Amy Lewis is in. Well, while the south of the country has been hit by strong winds in the northeast, they are dealing with their second storm in a week. Let's get the latest from correspondents. Let's go to Scotland now, where heavy snow is also causing disruption on the roads and to travel. Lucy Watson is in Bangkok. Unsurprisingly, there is huge travel disruption right across the UK. This is the guidance as cancellations. Should people be rethinking their plans this weekend and can they get refunds if they've already booked their tickets? A question in about flights as well, because there's disruption, we know, to city airports, some other airports across the country. What if people miss their flight today? What if they miss connecting flights? What happened to them? Where do they go? What happens? All right, now let's go to ITV weather presenter Becky Mantin, um, who is here with the latest. So, Becky, where are we with Storm Eunice? What can you tell us? Well, it's probably not a comfort. See that? You can see that red patch there, can't you? Just over London and the southeast. How rare yeah. is it to get a red weather warning? We've never questioned what's it going to look like for the weekend. Is the storm going to pass on? And what about next week? Well, the good update. Well, Storm Eunice will continue its path across the country this afternoon as we just... There you go. That is it for now. A lot more on Storm Eunice on the evening news at 6.30. Mary will be here for all of that and the rest of the day's news. Um, but for now, the lunchtime team, bye-bye. Hello again. Now the main stories in London and the capital has been hit by storm units like much of the rest of the country. Well, you can keep up to date with the weather warnings and travel disruption on our website, itv.com slash London. And let's bring you the all important forecast now with what will storm units bring this afternoon and into the weekend. Here's Sally with the details. And in non-weather related news, Lewisham's Montel Douglas has made history by becoming the first ever British woman to compete in both the Summer and Winter Olympics. The former... And that is all for now. Duncan is back at six with all the latest on Storm Eunice and its impact on the capital. Until then, enjoy your afternoon. Stay safe. Bye-bye.